hip hop was started to curb gang violence. So for it to turn around and be a vehicle to push gang violence is asinine. We cannot allow this to continue. And it's because there's not enough conversation from the older heads speaking to the young ones and putting everything back on track. Right now, when we think of gang activity, the two places that come up as the centers or the homes of gangs is Chicago, Illinois, and Los Angeles, California. For a lot of you listeners, especially from the new school, you think that the gangs came out of Cali and out of Chicago. Yes, if you're talking about the six and the five, that's Chicago. Or you're talking about the Crips and Bloods, you're talking about LA. But gang activity did not come out of those two places. Gangs have existed everywhere since people had a chance to mob up together. But here in the United States, New York was actually an epicenter for gang activity at one time, especially during the 70s. And so gangs had gotten so bad in New York. We talking about the Black Spades, the Black Pearls, the Lords. It was a plethora of gangs going on in New York and the Bronx was the worst. African Bambada's vision was that hip hop was going to bring the gangs together to stop the violence. And that's what it became. When hip hop started taking root with the block parties, it was understood you couldn't bring that BS there. It wasn't gonna be no shootout at the party. It wasn't gonna be no mass stabbing. It wasn't gonna be gang on gang violence if you went to one of these block parties. And then later they formed the Zulu Nation. And the Zulu Nation is actually the coming together of multiple gangs in New York under one umbrella and they stopped the violence. Now, does that mean there was no violence from that point? Of course not. But what it does mean is that a lot of the senseless violence got curbed and it was because of hip hop. If you ever noticed, the early hip hop heads that were gang members never made music talking about their violent activities. They never bragged about the things they were doing. They actually used music as an outlet. It was to have a good time and escape what was going on in the streets. So that's why if you ever listen to the early hip hop and you talk about Planet Rock, the message, and all of these mu- all this music, it was disco. It was upbeat music, something you could dance to. And this is where breaking came in. You get to break dance and dance to the music. You find the element of the song where everything breaks down into the drums and you dance to it. It was to have a good time, but nobody was glorifying street violence. Nobody was saying that it was okay for us to kill ourselves because that's not the origin of why we created the art form. So now we're in the era and I think we're starting to come to a close of drill. We went from gangster to trap to drill. So the question is, is like, what's next? Because we've hit a wall. We're losing too many rappers to violence. So how do we change this? A lot of information and it's a a heavy subject. This is us. This is our thing. And so it's kind of like, you know, family traditions, right? How like sometimes they kind of fall to the wayside. The family be arguing and disagreeing and cussing each other out every time you bring them together. (laughs) But then you still feel like it's important for everybody to be together. But you know what you're signing yourself up for by you know, participating in that. 